Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to show you how I made this skin inventory system in Unreal Engine with this cool looking animation using only blueprint so you can select your skin while you are in this game in this tutorial I am going to use this Paragon Gideon character you can download this from Epic Game Store it's free and then I have made all of this skin into a transparent background here you can see I have six of this character and also I have a background also a frame and then I'm going to create a button for a specific image or a specific skin and then I'm going to create a widget UI to showcase all of my skin into this widget UI then if we click any of this button then it will get the image reference or skin reference and put it into our character mesh so we can select our character skin depending on which button we are selecting let me show you the first thing we have to do we have to import all of this image into our Unreal Engine project so let's open our content drawer and I'm going to create a new folder let's rename this to inventory and then I'm going to create a new folder for image now I'm going to import I'm going to import all of this image into Unreal Engine okay now I'm going to create a wizard interface then widget blueprint and this is going to be widget blueprint skin now let's open this widget blueprint skin I'm going to add a canvas panel okay let's add a vertical box now side set this to 800 by 800 for now okay now we have to add a canvas panel inside this vertical box set this to fill now i'm going to add a horizontal box inside this canvas panel set this to fill and then let's add a canvas panel set this also fill okay now i'm going to add a button inside this canvas panel also we have to do set this to entire screen okay now on image let's select this avatar one and in style on normal i'm going to set this avatar one and tint set this to white okay now let's add a image This is going to be our background also set set this to fill our entire screen let's select this background and set this image brush to our background oops okay now now we have to set this background behind our button for that i'm going to do in z g order set this to minus one so it will appear behind in in this button always so we don't have to worry about this to appear on the top of our image let's duplicate this okay let's rename this to 
background now I'm going to duplicate this background and this is going to be frame frame now select our frame image and set this to frame but on this frame we have to appear this on the top of our image so for that let's on G order we have to set this to 1 so it will always appear on the top of our image or you can say player skin now this canvas panel let's rename this to okay canvas skin one let's remove oops let's remove this skin canvas skin okay button skin one okay now i'm going to duplicate this button oops now i'm going to duplicate this button one time and let's duplicate this horizontal box let's duplicate this canvas panel mm, three times okay okay now select all of this horizontal box and set 10 on align left right of this okay okay now select this canvas skin all of this canvas skin on padding we have to set 10 value for all of them now in this vertical box let's decrease this size maybe 500 uh, 600 okay Mm. Hundred and then six hundred. Okay. Maybe we have to do mm, eight hundred, and this is going to be eight hundred divided by three. Oops, three hundred, two hundred fifty. Oops. okay we have to set this to 550 okay now okay let's put alignment on point oops point 0.5 okay now maybe on point 0.1 and then set this to 0.5 okay now it will appear at the center of our at the right center of our canvas now we have one two three four five six e skin so let's select this button one On hover also set this image and this is going to be okay on press set this image for this button 2 skin 2 we have to set our second avatar for everywhere
okay now um, now we have to do let's select this button one and then on press let's do for all of them on on button skin 2 on press also button 3 okay now in now we have to do we have to communicate between this widget and this character or character blueprint so we have to communicate between these two blueprint so for that let, let's do one thing now in our character blueprint i'm going to create a custom event in this two update player skin okay now let's select our static mesh and then search for set mesh asset set set skeleton mesh asset now we can select any of this image I mean any of this mess but we want to set this to modular so for that let's plug this into our update skin custom event Oops. so it will create a input for our custom event now I'm going to copy this name and then in widget on click this uh, okay on click this skin okay on click this skeleton skin I'm going to do get a door of a class. This is going to be our GI Gideon character. This is going to be your player character. This reference, this character reference. And then I'm going to search for update player skin. Okay, now I'm going to select this to our skeleton that's all we have to do now in our third person character let's search for keyboard event and this is going to be tab now if you press tab on our keyboard we're going to add a flip-flop flip-flop then create widget now select our widget blueprint skin this one and then to viewport and if we press second time on our tab then we are going to remove this widget into our viewport let's search for remove from parent okay now if i press step here you can see our widget appear into our screen now if i press again tap it will remove from our from parent now we want to do let's get layer controller that show mouse cursor now if I enable this mouse cursor here now here you can see now we can select this button now let's duplicate this one and uh, on remove I'm going to remove this show mouse cursor now it will remove from our now after removing this widget we will no longer see this mouse cursor But there is a problem 
we are unable to click on this button to fix that let's do one thing select all of this image or canvas any of them and then search for um, visibility set this to non heat heat testable self only yeah these are not non heat testable self only okay now we have to select only this button now on visibility set this to visible i think that's all we have to do now yeah now we can yeah it's working yeah now we can change this character skin here you can see okay now I'm going to remove this update player skin. Oops. Let's remove this event. And also in graph setting, I'm going to remove this two node. And now on inventory, I'm going to create a blueprint interface. And this is going to be blueprint interf interface and let's name this to skin okay now let's open this interface and update is update skin okay now also we have to add a yeah a skeleton mesh object reference now we have to add a input this is going to be a scaly a skeleton mesh object reference mesh that's all we have to do now now in third in our gideon character it will be your third person character or whatever you are using go to class setting and then implement interface we have to search blueprint interface skin now here you can see on interface we have a event here interface here update skin let's implement this interface now all we have to do just plug this into this update skeleton mesh and this mesh reference is going to be our event update skin that's all we have to do now now we have to do another thing on widget blueprint let's create a variable this is going to be owner owner and let's search for actor object reference and now we have to do instant editable and expose on spawn now let's go to third person character or whatever character you are using let's refresh all of this not now here you can see we have new okay let's do one thing rename this owner to mm, get widget owner okay let's refresh this not now okay now we have to get a actor owner who is owning this widget so the owner of this widget is our character so let's do get get self okay thing get a reference to self so it will get our this character reference and now we can communicate in this widget let's grab this get widget owner now we can communicate this actor reference using this actor reference now we can communicate through this interface so let's search update skin okay
okay now on skin one i think this is the skin one this is going to be two okay skin two okay we don't have any skin on this six so let's let's set this to default one now let's check Now I'm going to make some adjustment in our widget. So let's do one thing. We have to do after opening this widget, I'm going to do set input mode game only. Oops, not this one. Okay, let's plug this on remove and also search for set in input mode game and ui let's do that for now in widget to focus set this to this widget let's see okay now it will fix our character movement okay let's do one thing okay in this widget i'm going to add a i think let's add a blur let's add a background blur on this canvas panel and fill this entire screen and i think on blur strength set this to 10 on g order set this to minus 2 okay now we have a blur here also if you want you can add a overlay it's not this one you can add a border on the top of this background blur set this to dark 0.3 Oof, not this one set this to dark and le select this transparency to 0.3 now we have a darker color here i think i have to set this to blur extent to maybe 5 maybe 3 let's set this to 5 also in transparency set this to 0.5 also maybe 0.4 okay now i'm going to animate this blueprint for that let's go to animation and create animation this is going to be on start on start okay now oops let's select this vertical box uh vertical box all okay now on animation i'm going to select this on start and let's add our or is the vertical box all yeah vertical box all 
now I'm going to add transform let's do one thing think Oops. on transform I'm going to remove this translation rotation share also uh, I'm only I'm going to use this scale only so let's set this to point two and point two no point five point five okay let's add a transform key and on the beginning on 0.5 second let's add another transform key set this to one and one okay now on point three i'm going to set this to 1.1 1 .1, 1 .1. i think that's too much i think let's set this 1.1 okay 0 0.5 is okay now also in transform i think or not transform i think we have to I'm going to add a visibility. It's not this one. I'm going to add a what is ah uh, yeah render opacity. Mm, add a keyframe here, and then at the beginning, I'm going to set this to zero. Okay. Okay maybe point two that's nice now also i'm going to select this background blur background blur let's add this background blur mm. get this render opacity set this to zero and then right here set this to one okay now go to event graph and then on event constraint when this widget appear on our screen we have to do on animation get this on a start and then play animation that's all we have to do now now if i open our widget here you can see we have this animation cool looking animation here okay okay now I want to do one thing mm. let's do one thing let's create a, another custom event okay on remove widget I'm going to copy this animation and then I'm going to do play mode set this to reverse so it will play from reverse now I'm going to copy this name now let's remove this room from parent on flop Oops going to call this on remove widget then let's add a delay for one second then i'm going to remove from parent now we have this I think I have to set this to 0.5. Okay, 
on animation select this vertical box and we have to start this from zero yeah. now it's looking absolutely fine now we set this to 0.7 doesn't matter now Okay, I think okay now uh, I'm going to do okay now I'm going to add animation for each of this button for that I'm going to add another animation and rename this to loop Now let's select this loop. Before that, I have to do okay. Let's get this canvas skin on loop. Let's get this canvas skin. Okay, I think I have to rename this to can oops. canvas skin one. It is going to be two. Okay. Let's select this canvas skin one on animation. Let's get this canvas skin one. Uh, let's get this transform. In transform, we have to get only this scale value. Now, think. Let's add a keyframe on scale value. And then, on one second, also I'm going to add another. On 0.5, let's do this to 1.02. 1.002. Let's preview this animation. Think 5 by 5. 3 by 3. Okay. on graph on even p constant i'm going to get this loop reference animation reference and then copy this note play animation but for this time we have to set this to number of loop to loops to zero now it will loop infinitely let's slow this animation little bit maybe 1.5 second let's see second
okay now let's select a skin to on animation I'm going to add this skin to canvas let's copy this transform value and paste it here now for this skin to I'm going to reverse this animation Now we have reverse animation here. It's look nice. Now I'm going to get all of this canvas skin reference. Now search for Let's get canvas skin 3 and then canvas skin 4, canvas skin 5, canvas skin 6. Okay, that's all I have to do now. Now Let's copy canvas 1 transform value and set this to canvas 3. Copy canvas 2 value and set this to 4. And then 6. 3 is going to be 5. Now let's see. Yeah. Now we have this random animation here. That's nice. Okay. Now, I want to animate each of this image, each of this button. For that, mm, let's do one thing on animation. I'm going to add get this button one. The transform let's get this translation Okay, now uh, on animation, I'm going to add button to button three. I'm going to copy this transform, paste it here, Oops. paste it on button 2. Now on button 2, I want to invert this value. So let's do one thing. Set this to 0. This is going to be 5. Also, this is going to be pipe okay yeah I have 
invert invert value okay let's copy this skin one and paste it on skin three also five get copy this skin two value and paste it on skin four skin six okay okay now let's select all of this button and draw as a image image also image okay okay now in content drawer on inventory i'm going to create a new blueprint enumer enumeration and this is going to be a skin okay let's open this and add a enumerator let's add six of them okay now I want to do mm, hmm. let's get all of this skin this is going to be our first skin let's copy this name and paste it here this is the second one And six one is going to be the default one. Okay, let's remove this one. Okay, now on widget blueprint on event pre constant, I want to do let's create a okay let's do one thing let's select this frame one this is going to be frame two what frame two already exists okay set this to frame three Oops. what okay this is going to be frame six and then this is going to be frame 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Now, let's get all of this frame. 5, 4, 3, 2, I think we have to do no I'm going to rename this to first one this is going to be frame kg1 Okay. Let's add a underscore before this frame. This is going to be third one.
ओके नाउ I'm going to create a variable and this is going to be is skin enum okay okay rename this to skin enum now I'm going to do on this variable set this variable to skin enum that's all i have to do now now i'm going to drag this skin enum and then i think on frame i have to do uh yeah tint color set brush tint color set this to white right now maybe red okay and then I think I have to search for select okay let's plug this frame Gideon to Gideon frame Gideon in Q store set this here Gideon top map histone then under toe okay okay let's add another enum for default maybe oh curb okay plug this into no card then I'm going to set this to okay before that okay let me create a custom event update update frame okay now on update frame let's grab all of this and then set tint blush color set this to white so it will set all of our frame to white and then it will get our skin color i mean which skin we are selecting then we are going to set this skin to i mean reference to red color okay let me show you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Date frame. Let's call this event here. And before that, we have to update this enum. Set this to Gideon. This is going to be default. no card let's check yeah it's working here you can see it's working absolutely fine but there is a problem after opening this widget we are unable to see which skin is selected so to fix that i have to do let's open this interface that we have created 
And now in our character I'm going to create a new variable and this is going to be our skin enum and search for skin enum that's all I have to do now and then um, on skin enum oops, on interface I'm going to create a new function and save skin enum okay let's add a input this is going to be our skin enum okay after updating this brush i'm going to get this owner reference Oops. get this owner reference and then search for sep skin enum and enum is going to be this enum okay now we have to add another function get saved skin enum now for this time we have to add a output and I have to select our skin enum for that okay now let's go to third person character or whatever character you are using let's open get save enum skin now I have to get this enum on widget blueprint event begin play or event pre constant I'm going to get get saved skin enum and I'm going to set this enum to my enum now let's remove this update frame clops them into a function let's rename this to update color okay okay let's plug this here let's see okay i forgot to add save skin in them mm. now I have to plug this skin enum to skin enum event interface that's all you have to do now okay now on animation on start I'm going to enable this animation let's see yeah okay
okay now if you want you can change this color also maybe set this to golden color maybe yeah you can also do that 